so this is going to be um, an energy check-in I'm actually not feeling too great myself I'm bogged down with headache tonsils um, and it's just taking its bloody toll um, so I'm gonna try and keep my voice clear and I was gonna do a reading on Rex who woman because I dare say that um, that's going to start to blow up but I think I'm also a bit late on the party to that but I'm going to do a reading on it because I don't know are any of you going to I think a lot of people will follow it once it's at trial so if I get a reading on it before I know much um, it might be good let me know in the comments the other thing is I actually was wanting to do a live testing this weekend but um, because I'm not well, I thought, no, just leave it. But I mean, the testing might just be me on my own. Well, all one million of you now, don't rush to the line. <laughs> um, it might just be on me on my own or one person might turn up. I plan to do them um, regularly and it's just creating a community for us, but also we can discuss different topics, different crimes, we can pull cards um, and just go into that sort of stuff. And also sometimes as the platform grows, um, I'm, I'm on the verge of giving up on it, to be honest with you, it's doing my head in. I feel a little bit, um, a little bit of injustice from the um, algorithm, <laughs> but maybe uh you know truth is not what sells for some people so but still because it's the subscribers that actually keep me going so this is going to be an energy check-in but i'm not i've got my notebook somewhere where i made notes of what i want to say um or just notes on things to like go into deeper but i'm going to keep it very light on an energy check-in and if you see this it means i felt like i've connected um with it if not then i'll mention in the read that you see that i tried to do one but i just wasn't connecting maybe because i'm not very well so with rex who's following that who's not please don't tell me the full story before i do that read um i don't think it would be something that i'd be channeling into his energy so much i was actually going to do a reading on idaho 4 um but I also don't want to do your head in because a lot of you are following it and you're so deep into it. Like when I was opening YouTube, sometimes thumbnails come up for me and um, um, sorry, I'm just a bit short of breath. Uh, thumbnails come up for me and uh, there's so much different thumbnails. So I think there's a lot of like stuff and then when you do something or you search something then or you're a content creator and you do some content it brings in other content creators and so i've seen thumbnails of like other psychics and some of them have really random thumbnails so i think they're just reading on every uh, mickey jack and harry and i don't know uh stiletta and stuff like that and so i'm like oh but i was gonna read because <clears throat> do you know what i see 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 why this would have been a good live because i'm just waffling on um now i'm gonna leave what i see all right psychically just in case you want that primary reading and then you can put me in place and flex on what you know and rex and obviously another karen reed i'm gonna do there is scheduled a missing Dr. Mosley, My Michael Mosley. So if you're from the UK, you probably know. Um, but yeah, so let me know the content that you are watching on the channel. Let me know what you're enjoying and let me know how you're doing. Um, and probably look out for that live. Now, since I uh, since the last read, I still believe that um, I've not seen any news that Sebastian has been found. Um, I do want to say though, when I tapped into him, like on the last read, I do do like sentences of what he's brought forward to me without fully channeling, like I could get him through, but he's just, just kind of seeing how he's doing or like, I'll be thinking of him and then I get these messages come through. Like the last one was hold my dad and something else. Oh, he mentioned ice cream. 
and so I do want to say that he is on his healing journey. Um, I see the difference in um, when I channeled him in part three, I believe it was. Um, I do see the difference. Um, so he is on his healing journey um, that we go through. Now, I've if you've not followed all the parts, I do recommend it because there's been a lot of validation. Um, I've also said that some certain people have something to say and I still say it. Um, this is, disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please use your own fact-finding and research. Remember, it's my disclaimer. It's only for entertainment purposes only. Um, I also mentioned in one of the reads, and it was also a live comment and then a comment on, um, you're a bit coded in this read, and in the next one I tried to open a little bit up. But I mentioned in that read, there's going to be a nailing down on what is said in terms of this case and people that are putting stuff out on this case. And I feel that that energy is coming forth now. And I don't know if you've seen that or not, or if something's happened around that. Last time we also, I think it was that the mother had not been in the news much. So I also feel like she, there's something happened where she's, either jumped on a call or she'd been brought forward she said something her energy is that she's expressed from her throat chakra so i don't know in the last two three weeks if we've heard from her but that that energy is there so let's keep this um see what the energy check in and then i'll do a deeper dive into some things in the next part okay so one thing that i was told to do by spirit is pull from this deck and this is a bit random right so I don't know if it's because they they want me to pull a card and it's going to channel through a message or but usually it's an overarching message around the case. So let's have a look and let's just look at my time to make sure I don't go over. Okay. If you are interested in that live, look out for it. But like I said, it will be a testing because I've got no clue what happens after I press live. I don't think I'll suddenly be live because <laughs> that will be like stage fright, even though it'll be me on my own. Um, but like, yeah, so I think these lives might be really nice. Um, chit chat, full cards, see what we get, a little bit of fun. Okay, so Spirit, what did you want me to... What message did you want for this? What is the... It's like an arching message that Spirit wants you to bring through. What message is that? It's interesting. He's... I don't want to say he's. Why am I saying he? Um, consciousness in reverse. Yeah. Um, this is where I said... And I think some people that were really biting from the apple pie... I'm, it's strange I'm getting apple pie. Did Sebastian like apple pie? Um, I mentioned about everyone eating from a piece of the pie, but why am I getting apple pie? So I think Sebastian was keen on apple pie. Um, McDonald's maybe apple pie, or I don't know. Um, anyway, consciousness in reverse. The lack of consciousness and using your own discernment, using your conscious inner guide to really listen to those that give you truth, listen to those that make sense and your consciousness of what you're thinking. A lot of people were taking clips of stuff, making little stories, creating drama. I feel like some of that, some people have honed in because I think other content creators have been like, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that, what are they talking about? And so there's been a bit of energy of clap back at each other if you get what I'm saying and you will if it's happened. Um, and so this is really about consciousness. Um, use your consciousness. Don't be blocked off and be like sheep. <laughs> okay. Let's get one more card, please. By the way, <laughs> I'm a pretty straightforward person. But do you know when you're, you're not very well, it's kind of like the filter thins even more. But the thing is, with my subscribers, and that's why I probably got a low amount, is because 
I feel like you're quite elevated. Um, <laughs> so I don't think you're a sheep. But you understand what I'm saying. I'm saying about the whole vibe of people. Power of presence. Be present. Be authentic. Be present. Um, don't lose focus with this ego. Stay on track. Remember one of the big things we were saying. Stay on track. Stay focused. Don't get in the murky waters. What's interesting about this is seven and seven. Seven and seven means that there's legal involved here for me. And I think that means there will be justice. Again, this is about staying focused for the justice to come through. All right. Um, being present in the reality of it. Okay, so that's what Spirit wanted me to say on that. Let's pull another card from this. How are you all doing? Is everyone well? There's, you know, I've got a really nice amount of subscribers. You have to let me know as well what time is best for you. Um, I tend to do them more suitable probably for the US. If you're from the UK, let me know. Um, but you can always save to watch it later. Again, just an imagey, um, any imagey you want to put in the comments helps it get out in the algorithm. Um, like two or three times to be honest with you so it doesn't take much and you can like you can subscribe um there's also the super thanks let me know what time you like to watch your content or the lives as well would you turn up to one nas feel loved and feel proud you know with this card this bird firstly our spirit is telling me Remember, Zane, you said about the throat chakra, and for me, the hummingbird always represents the throat chakra needing to say something. So I was saying about the Naz here, and I'm getting significance of N A Z as well. Naz here is about um, if you see she's holding the bed, but she's not holding it so tightly where it can't fly out. It's held, but it's not controlled. Don't be controlled by anything, don't be controlled by a system. Number 10 is a completion around this. Again, I feel like there's a divine timing in this. because I know some of you are like, why is she not doing more content? Why is she not saying he'll be found in this area again? I've already said that kind of thing in the first reads. Why I'm not banging on about that sort of stuff is because... Um, okay, I'm getting told by Spirit I've got to go ahead to do more on that. Okay, so I will do very soon. Um... But here is something you need to feel, you know, there's a larger message to this. Sebastian likes this message. I'm getting that as well. Feel loved and feel proud. I actually want to tap into that card a little bit more. With it being a 10 as well, um, I'm, I'm really struck to the letters N-A-Z. Um, is there a building? Is there an area? We're going to have to write that down. Well, this is pride from being loved. All right. And obviously here, I think there was a lack of it for the person, you know, for who I said, like, no matter what it is, you are cherished. You are essential. You'll always be loved by the universe, by God, whoever you believe in. You are loved. And here... She holds this bird, but she's not grasping it, yielding it. She's not holding tightly. It's kind of like that perfect balance of freedom and life. It's kind of like unconditional support that surrounds her here, surrounds the bird. It's like what happens in our lives, in the day-to-day -day life. I'm just going to put that there because I don't know how YouTube is, right? Because there's nothing showing what. Um, you're supported, you're wanted. Like if you're, if you're thinking about this, think about what I'm talking, the case I'm talking about. I'm trying to be very careful. In Sebastian's case, Sebastian, I'm letting you know right now, as well as the subscribers, you are wanted, you are loved, you're supported. And this is your birthright. You're part of the universal expression of life.
and here for subscribers this is uh, and i like this message that i'm getting feel proud of the fact that you are a living miracle and sing your song like i said the throat chakra beautiful messages right i dare say spirits like okay you can end this now <laughs> you've done what you needed right let's do a check-in on each of them okay so let's do a check-in on <clears throat> bio dad remember i've always said bio dad has something to say right now so this check-in can be can vary these i don't take in well let's see i don't really take them in reverse okay but let's see I'm not taking all these i'm just gonna this one this one is blocked journey he's a bit blocked all right he's blocked in the way he's going i feel like he's blocked about how he's being guided um but when it's in reverse i just want to give it i want to put it out there is that the road is not blocked it's kind of like maybe you're blocking yourself okay but empathy is like your road is blocked you need to take another route okay so I feel he's feeling a bit blocked in some way. Split the deck. We've got a card balance. He's out of balance in what he's doing. Um, I mentioned a while ago he needs to take time out. So I think there's a bit of a lack of balance here. A bit, I think there's a lack of seeing things in a neutral way as well. I think there's a lack of balance in his energy output and input. Again, entertainment purposes only. And none of, none of what I've said is is negative anyway i mean i could pull cards on my energy right now when we would get random stuff all of us but this is running after something might be chasing it away running after something and being wary of um being deceived by your own desires of what you want to achieve which we know in this case is finding sebastian it's, cha it's chasing those illusions that are guiding him to different, um, I would say, even compulsive behavior of not taking time out, um, maybe a little bit of self-neglect, self not honoring values, that kind of energy I'm getting from it. Okay, let's pull a couple of cards for Christopher. This is current energy, remember. Oh dear. Um, so I don't know if he's portrayed himself as a bit of the victim, which, which in their interviews, you know, I felt like it was more about them as opposed to Sebastian, like, um, and so that is kind of coming through now. So I don't know if he's kind of, I want to take this back because it fell out with it, but I'm going to see if it comes back out. Um, but I'll explain to you what the card is. It's about growth. It's about where you are. You're not expanding. You're not growing. So for me, it's kind of like, um, I think there's a shut off energy um, here with that growth and the victim card. There's also here a dominance of the uh, heart chakra. In Seth is, it's about the third eye, seeing things clearly and then not being blocked within the other chakras that keep you grounded and rooted here we've got the heart chakra all right let's get let's get more one more too many cards we've got the growth here showing again so you know um in terms of that it's kind of like whatever he's feeling right now um i think he's feeling a bit stuck all right stuck in an energy which we can say because there's no movement here and maybe you know in this case i was hoping to move forward in something in life so let's just see one more card for completion there's not a completion can you remember moving forward in some area in life but there's stagnancy there's not a completion of moving forward um 
I just want to emphasize on this in this card this does not necessarily mean someone died okay I just want to say that you've seen the readings you understand what I'm saying here there's kind of like the, there's not a completion of the chapter and so I think you know go back to the readings if there was um mm, this is why Patreon and memberships is, is the ideal place where I do these. Um, uh, what can I tell you? Like, if you did something for an outcome, or if something happened you were hoping for, even if you did something by mistake and you was kind of like, okay, no problem, I'm just going to actually go forward in this way, um, Ten of Cups kind of energy, um, but... There, there isn't that ability to, and it ties in with the growth as well. And so we've got here about um, being sort of trapped, feeling blocked, a bit blaming others. And then we've got the same sort of lower, lower chakra here, um, where there's uh, the lack of completion of something. But I just want to... Um, like this upright would be like how do you how do you tend to completion how do you tend to the present moment you're in um a, a determination of fulfillment of a, a completing something here there is a lack of it which we know because there isn't a completion so this is really interesting let's get remember this is not about the case energy their current energy um bio mother's energy Interesting, we've got forgiveness there. Facade, can you see that? I mean, faith, gratitude. This is about having gratitude for the small things. Um, but I do think, you know, a lot of like the cards that were coming out, like faith and what was the other, what was the other one I saw? What was the other one I saw? Um, trying to be present. It's interesting. Um, the stomach, I mean, look at this and the clouds, um, speaks a lot. She's probably a little bit stuck. Um, a bit unhappy at the moment. Um, there's pain there and there's dis dissociation from herself. Um, and this is about recovery. There's also dissociation because of what happened. Uh, there's also pain that's come up of this. There's also childhood pain, but mainly, um, yeah, there's, uh, you know, a kind of, also an energy of giving up something that you know or that you are um, trying to make an image of and then with the gratitude um, we've got uh, the gratitude cards which is just like looking at the finer trying to look at the finer things um, and I think we got forgiveness, didn't we? So it's kind of like trying to I think it's a plea of forgiveness from Sebastian. But I, I dare say, you know, she's trying to she needs to find um gratitude in the smaller things. At this moment in time, in time, like um, nurturing stuff, and um, you know, this could have been something I've mentioned in the past. All right, let's get into the tarot. There's a healing. It's a tying in with that, but I'm going to put it back because there's so many cards. Same with this. Justice in a challenge, right? Justice is not being served. There's a delay on justice here. Um, 
Two of Cups, the partnership. There's an imbalancement in the relationship at the moment in time. Um, Ace of Wands, the Emperor. of swords not being able to see clearly around this whole thing that's occurred um the ace of wands is that new chapter that's kind of like wanting trying to be directed by um the uh law enforcement but also uh by the support of uh the stepdad but there's a denial here, there, here, and there's a very challenging decision to make. You can imagine what I'm talking about. Under that is the fall. And there's that ten of cups I was mentioning. Taking a risk on a challenging decision is currently in the works here. And if we think of this card, maybe it's around this as well. But I think it's about letting information out around this as well. Split the deck, yeah, around what's hidden. Let's go on to the stepfather and then the bio dad. hoping that I can have this up for you. Just turn the cards because I was, when I shuffle I don't look down, I just look away or I close my eyes but you know sometimes I don't realise I've got the cards going the other way and they do spit out but I've had a stupid comment on a UK royal read by someone who said I'm selecting stepdad's energy. Um, being in control, that codependency is there. There's the control element here. Um, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, very interesting. Um, this is sort of being cold. It's also um, possibly being met with harsh words from the mother. Um, which is interesting as well. Um, mm, bit of manipulation, you know, there's a manipulation, a tendency, a, a controlling energy, um, sharp communication as well here, either from him or from Katie. Um, a, a bit of bitterness, but really it's about being um, a lack of emotion. You know, there's a message from your head that is not so much in terms of heart. Um, and we saw that there was a bit of imbalancement in the stepmom's energy. Told to look at the bottom of the deck, the lovers in reverse, or the deck is in reverse. Okay, so the lovers upright. Um, it's yeah. So this is probably between them. Um, and also there's still a choice here. Let's get more cards so that I can understand if it's the energy between them. We've got the ju no, it's not the Justice King of Wands. Um, there's too many that's come out of there. This one is fine. Fool. So for the new chapter. Again, both have got this new chapter. There's a choice of taking a risk. There's some sort of decision that they're needing to make and a choice to take a risk. Um, and I think it's about trying to leave the past behind. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this. I don't know if they will look at... Um, in the future, maybe... There's going to be something new that comes to fruition in the future, okay? When this place closed or if they move or something, there's something there, um, or a change of job, there's something new as well, um, and it could be around the Ten of Cups as well. Very demotivated this moment in time, nothing's 
really um yeah he's not in a happy energy he's not in a happy energy and neither was she but he's in a bit of a more of a cold kind of energy controlling kind of energy as well um they both seem to have their there's the confirmation they both seem to have um he's got a dissatisfaction around maybe also the way this case is being looked into he's not happy with that okay um let's go on to the bio dad bio dad's current energy too many cards i'll take this this back i'll keep the one that's hanged man feeling stagnant there's a judgment call here i think he's making wrong judgment calls to be honest with you um oh i've just been reminded did someone say that sebastian loves cats i was just like looking at this like that who is these two lovers or partnership and I was reminded of cats. And do you know what also I was reminded of? Is it that Disney cartoon, The Aristocats, where there's that, the lovely white kittens and the mother is white? I'm reminded of that. Um, okay. He's very much focused on um, Kate, the mother being um, sort of involved here, um, thinking the mother has something to bring forward um, around um, this case. That's what I'm getting here. Has he got a lawyer now or something? He's got a female that's on his side and he's also got like a lawyer um, here. But there is a female, if we don't know about her, there is a female that is kind of guiding him. Um, and I'm not sure if he's getting told that there is... Um, He's starting to wonder if Sebastian's further out. And what triggered this is that when, was you know, there was that person who they thought was missing, was he in a different state or something? He's, he's kind of feeling that. He's also feeling like... Um, Like I said, the mother, he's also, I don't want to say something wrong, one second. Okay, so um, one, one more minute. I've not asked the question one second. I'll just take these three and I'll explain. Right. Yeah, he's not able to make rational decisions at this moment in time. His, judge, his judgment is very bad. Um, he's trying to balance his relationships with everyone he's dealing with. Um, I think he's also been trying to balance something around money. Um, how much he can give out for people to help him. There's something around money here. Um, and I think there's been said that 
in the past, I don't know about now, but I think in the past, did he have a GoFundMe and then he closed it because people said he was taking it. But there's something around um, money here. There's kind of like, There's help coming from others, from service as well, not just money, okay? But his perception, his perception is, um, he's not balanced in his perception and his judgment on things. He's out of balance, he's in disharmony, and he's also committing to too many things. And I think he's talking, to, he's trying to take on more people than needed, um, he needs to just prioritize. He needs to slow down a little bit. This Queen of Wands, whoever she is, she's very powerful. Like she's a powerful energy that he will listen to. Okay. She's in his energy, even if we don't know it. Um, he really feels that the mother has some, some kind of secret. She holds the key here. Um, and he is, you know... I think he also is questioning whether law enforcement are doing the best they can. At the same time, I think he's trying to understand that, um, again, um, this could be a cycle of um, I picked up this doc, this card because I want to see how the world looks in this card, um, in this deck. But they don't have the the pic the picture here because I want to. There's something on this deck that the world looks a bit different. Can't find it, um, a lot of online stuff is still happening um, and this new chapter is going to really push him into um, healing. There's something I'm not feeling, I'm clearing my channel, hang on a sec. I might have cleared and got the messages right. I was wondering if Spirit wanted me to get this, and that's why I pulled the deck to get the world, the book to get the world card. But I'd seen this, and I was like, I wonder if that's. Um, he thinks that there is a lot hidden. Um, I still think that. This is going to be obvious, but basically he um, is trying to find Sebastian. He's he's trying to find him. He doesn't really know where to look. There's a fear around that. Um, and there's also, like I said, there's things that he maybe is holding on to. There's fears here as well. Um, just bear with me a moment while I sit in silence for something. Um, there's a worry on how he can go forward in a new chapter um, and heal once this whole thing is is completed so he has that fear like he won't have sebastian how is his world gonna look how is his new cycle of life gonna look without his son that's what he's also in his head that's what i have for you i hope you're all well i hope you're all well i hope you're enjoying this i do hope you're all well 
Uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.